Climate change is a global disaster that will not only affect the lives of us today, but our children and everyone after them. The UN has given us 11 years to change our actions before the damage is irreversible. So why is nobody doing anything about it? Yet tackling a problem this immense on an individual level is incredibly challenging, not least because of the vicious circle created by our belief that it is too great a problem for us to overcome ourselves. George Marshall suggests that because the effects are so scarily intensive, we choose to ignore the effects of climate change due to terror management theory. Further, only 63% of Americans believe that global warming exists, according to a poll conducted by Yale University in 2013. All too often we either reject its existence or when we accept that existence we are rejecting our capacity to deal with it. Hence there is a need for action to be taken by bodies with greater influence. Namely, companies need to take responsibility for their impact on the environment and the potential that accompanies this responsibility to transform that impact into a positive one. However, companies in the global marketplace are not driven by moral responsibility but by consumer demand and profit. They need to remain competitive. Unfortunately, this does not always coincide with being eco, as demonstrated by Boston Tea Party's £250,000 decrease in revenue when they abolished single-use cups. It requires us as customers to demand environmental responsibility from our suppliers in order to ensure that those suppliers will provide it. And it takes action again on a wider scale to occur, in the form of government regulations holding corporations to account. Governments are forced into ignoring our climate crisis due to the lack of civil support. This makes it very hard for MPs to pass pro-environment legislation as their constituents may be against such change. For example, if a constituency contains a strong car manufacturing community Community, the population would likely vote for the party that is willing to protect their industry. For this reason, politicians that run our country are bound by these constraints in order to save their career. The long-term national interest of addressing the climate crisis is often overlooked and instead voters favour shorter-term benefits at the cost of future generations. Pressure from the international community, however, could be the only way that we address this issue. The Paris Agreement is a global attempt to reduce emissions to combat climate change. However, the agreement has been largely unsuccessful because there are no consequences for countries that produce the same amount of emissions as before. On the 1st of June 2017, Trump pulled the United States out of the Paris Agreement. This is only a year after Barack Obama first signed the agreement. Trump's actions have made the agreement futile as the United States is the biggest producer of greenhouse gases. This means their emissions would offset much of the progress made in the agreement. Greta Thunberg has called for system change not climate change. We need to stop living like we're in the 20th century and start having a 21st century mindset. Bang it. Boom. Mother Nature won't wait, thank you.